Trip Ladder Super Speciality Faculty for Pediatrics, and we have a very, very special guest with us today. Neat results have been announced, and we have All India ranked number two. Yes, All India ranked number two in Super Speciality Pediatrics, Dr. Grishman Mendu Rajan with us. She has done her MBBS and MD from Kerala, and she has done stupendously well, obviously much better than anybody else in the exam. Uh, she is among the top two, you know, pediatric super specialists, going to be pediatric super specialists in the country. And it's our privilege to welcome uh, her here in this interview. So, Dr. Grishmendu, welcome to this interview and congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. So, Dr. Grishmendu, before we start uh, about your background, please. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I am from Kerala. I finished my MBBS from Trivandrum in 2016 and finished my MD in 2021 from LFP and my SRship I had completed in 2022. And after that, I was in uh, working in a hospital in Trivandrum, private hospitals. So, uh, as you were saying before we started the interview that you have previously also prepared uh, and uh, sat in the NEET SS. How was this NEET yes. SS 2023 different compared to the previous exam that you have set in? Yes, sir. Uh, so I have given one neat assess towards the end of my session. And uh, actually, uh, I had found it tough at that time. And uh, this exam also, sir, after the exam, I again definitely found it uh, tough, sir. Uh, I won't even say that it was moderate tough. I, I, I found it like uh, almost real tough, sir. That's what I could say. Uh, so, sir, actually, we take this two or three rounds for the exam, right, sir? So, in the first round, I was hitting all the answers, which I would think would be correct, like 90% correct when I would hit those answers. So after finishing the first round, itself, there were like 50 questions waiting for me. Mm -hmm. uh, like what what answer should I choose? Uh, so that's why I think I, I definitely found it tough, sir. And uh, so difference, uh, so clinical scenarios were asked both in the last knee tests as well as uh, this time knee tests, sir. Uh, I couldn't feel that it was more or less. I just found it like same amount of uh, uh, questions as separate as that and sir uh, one thing that i can highlight is that in the last previous assess some questions which i had got wrong uh, which were actually asked from nelson itself so direct nelson based image and uh, questions so such questions i i couldn't actually find much here this time uh, mm -hmm. because i think there were like direct questions in the last exam this uh, this time also there has been direct questions but uh, still it's a mixture so, like both clinical scenario and uh, facts like that. So uh, this is the similar thing which has been like uh, told by other uh, students also who have done well in the exam that it was a very you know horizontally spread exam. They were touching every single system, a uh, small topic, big topic, uh, peripheral topic. They were going through everything, and uh, there was a mix. There were very tough questions. There were fact based questions, and there were also clinical scenarios. So basically, they are checking your in depth entire knowledge of pediatrics, and obviously, Dr. Grishmendu was uh, was totally you know up to uh, the mark the the level that they wanted that is why she did well in the exam so dr grishmandu uh, how much time do you feel it is important for someone if he or she is going to start preparing for neat ss and how much time did you devote on a daily basis and over last year or two years or whatever okay. time you feel sir the situation i would say that uh... If people are oriented in their first year MD itself, mm -hmm. uh, then they can keep that in their mind. Mm -hmm. So uh, no need for the last minute stress of uh, giving one more year of exam or something. That they can uh, keep it along with their MD. Uh, that would be good for them. But uh, uh, as for my case, sir, uh, actually this thought of taking pediatric neuro DM uh, that came up in my mind only towards my final year MD, sir. So uh, I was not that much uh, preparing during my final year MD, but. It was after my MD exams and during my SR shift that I had uh, basically prepared more. Uh, I had also subscribed the platter during this same period, sir. During my SR shift and for the second attempt after my SR shift. So how was prep ladder useful in your preparation? Uh, the videos, yes, the sir. trailers, the MCQs? Yes, sir. Definitely. Uh, sir, uh, I would say that uh, it was an ideal companion that uh, I had prescribed prep ladder. I had prescribed prep ladder because uh, my classmates who have also suggested prep ladder. It's the previous year talk uh, So that is why I basically took prep ladder and so your videos in YouTube that is available for everyone. Uh, so just by listening to those videos itself, I think we'll feel like uh, subscribing, sir, because 
those those videos i can say that as well very informative sir self explanatory it's not like a copy of nelson it is based on nelson uh, you make nelson more interesting sir actually and uh, in addition we have other points too so less is the effort i need not refer some other books for extra information i can get nelson based information plus extra information from your videos that was uh, really helpful for me sir i have watched all your videos sir that is nothing that is left behind and uh, that videos had also prablap also had this notes with those videos so for revising it was very helpful sir we cannot watch the video again like uh, so that notes your slides as well as those notes i could use for revising this okay. and sir exams one thing i would like to add is that grand test that was that was really helpful sir uh, in fact i would say that uh, my pattern of uh, this exam uh the like number of negatives has caused i have got are pretty similar to what i have got doing the grand tests so that mock test uh, there were three mock tests and uh, uh those mock tests were like almost equivalent to this neat ss exam that difficulty uh, easiness everything mm -hmm. so uh, the both the highlights are one is your videos and second is the exams that we could go through and the mock tests also sir uh, mock tests which was subject wise based mock tests that was somewhere pretty difficult in the app but again that was an extra information uh, plus a good training so the tests and the videos all together have definitely helped a lot great great so uh, like what were the resources that you used apart from prep ladder uh, like uh, what were the, books say, uh, uh, the reading i had done from nelson mainly sir so nelson i i tried to cover a whole nelson so actually there are like a uh more than 30 there more than 30 parts uh, 34 parts around in nelson so from the first chapters first chapters might uh, looks like much you know because they're not maybe not so important but still i was trying to read them too sir uh, from that to to the last of nelson sir that is uh, i ear skin bone that miscellaneous topics sir so uh, entire nelson like i was dividing and trying to cover nelson and the cloherty the 70 chapters in cloherty also sir uh, add it mainly is nelson and poherty and kaplaras the uh, these three that's great great so how much time do you think uh, it's uh, needed if someone wants to get a decent rank in the upcoming next neat ss 2024 uh, like okay. how much how much time is it is needed for one full reading and then the number of revisions you recommend okay so i think uh, total is like someone is getting motivated at the end of their md uh, mm -hmm. who had not done that that much neat ss reading during their md for them Uh, perhaps one year is minimum. Uh, uh, more than one year may be required. At least one year that they have to read through Nelson and also revise the topics, uh, watch the videos, watch those videos again. So otherwise, the thing, the most ideal would be, sir, to pursue this along with their MBA. I think, which which I had not done per se in my first year, first year to final year. If they are oriented as to what specialty and what college like they want to get, they can actually keep it together. That would be much easier and actually much stress relieving. I think. Uh, rather than uh, piling up everything towards the end and trying to clear the exam at the last moment and how many revisions did you do uh so i can say that uh, i've done uh, after that uh, one year of uh, single reading i have gone to uh, two rounds of re revision uh, definitely for most of the topics and even three rounds of revision for some topics uh, that is the revision i got great and uh, any any uh, suggestions for your juniors like will be starting one you have already said that if someone is oriented okay. they should start preparing early apart from uh, do's and don'ts from your end okay sir i would say that uh, sir like you used to say like you every time say that uh, nelson is a bible uh, definitely i cannot quote many questions which have been asked directly from nelson but anything which has been asked in the exam and if i was able to answer it the thing which helped me is nelson and your videos so that is why i can confidently say that nelson is again required no matter whether you get a uh, direct questions or not uh, nelson gives that uh, answer and it gives the background for you to both arrive at the correct option as well as to exclude the wrong options right. so nelson definitely recommend it sir you know, all 34 parts divide and read it i don't think you should omit anything anyone and uh, cloherty also sir aims for the call is definitely important sir but i was not able to revise it at the last Uh, and definitely all your videos sir there were like uh, more than 300 videos uh, total uh, number of videos and every video rates and uh, it's a uh, listening and then followed by a revision of the notes and i think revision is the key sir without revising actually whatever we learn that can go into waste 
we are not revising all our effort will go to waste it's very similar to uh, if you we should eat what we can digest and we should read only what we can revise if we don't revise everything is going to go waste and obviously dr krishmindu has revised really well uh, this is not a joke the kind of performance that you have given you are uh, really a role model for a lot of future pediatric aspirants for neat ss so dr krishmindu it's obviously your hard work but there must be other people also involved in your success so to yes, any anyone, uh, other people in your life that you want to dedicate this uh, success to yes sir first is uh, i would like to dedicate to my family my parents who stood by me sir so actually sir in the uh, last neat ss exam uh, i got a rank of 164 uh, towards my end of the sr so i had a doubt like uh, 164 is not that bad a rank so if i am trying to improve is there a much scope for me available to improve or was it by maximum i was like confused but uh, my parents and my husband they they supported me a lot so uh, after the inss report uh, inss results had come uh, i couldn't get through the inss sir i couldn't clear it so actually hardly neat ss was like one month something apart from this inss and i was again like uh, confused if this would be this going to work or not but Uh, my husband really said that uh, just continue the work don't think about the results just keep learning keep revising he always used to say that and i i think i, I followed him my my parents and a couple of my friends and uh, and definitely sir uh, what has made me help uh, help me a lot is uh, the preplan app itself i would say that your videos are like uh, i don't think there's a replacement for those videos and i have not seen uh, i have not seen many like uh, similar videos elsewhere so I think that uh, it has definitely helped me by subscribing to your app. Thank you so much for these kind words, Dr. Krishmendu. Uh, they really mean a lot. And coming from someone like you who has really cracked the exam and worked your way up to the top, it's really you know it also makes us work harder in our future uh, efforts. And uh, on behalf of the entire Preplader SS team, I would like to congratulate you on your great success and. Uh, Uh, you have already said that you will be taking pediatric neurology. Uh, any plans where you want to take it up? Sir, I would. Uh, uh, sir, I would take it in SAT. I think, sir, uh, intravenous. Uh, yes. Mostly. Awesome, awesome place. I, I, awesome place. So great choice. So wishing you all the very best and congratulations to your family also, your husband also, everyone connected with you, and uh, may you achieve zeniths of success even after this exam is over and you join your. Uh, super speciality residency thank you so much for sparing time for us at this late hour uh, thank you thanks a lot sir thanks a lot for helping us sir thank you